My amazing Aquarians, welcome into a brief next 48 hour tarot reading for you. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing out there per usual. Um, before I began recording your reading, I definitely was pushed to start dancing um, and moving and grooving. And I feel like this next two day period definitely involves music and uh, maybe dancing as well um, and strutting your stuff. There's a confidence about you. People like it. Some people even love it. Um, and I do feel like the subject of love or the potential of which uh, definitely is part of the next two days for you. But um, keep in mind, this is meant to pertain to around the next two days for you beginning, um, you know, when you view this reading. The Four of Swords coming out. I feel as if you need a significant rest and then Spirit saying for some of which, like myself, John, to the reading, you've been getting so much rest recently, maybe even over sleeping, over uh, resting otherwise uh, in cutting out time to do minimal or nothing uh, and uh, the spirits saying well you have been through a lot okay life has been taking a toll on you and you have to remember if you've been watching if you're watching this um, close to the posting of uh, of the reading um, Mercury retrograde just finished up okay and there is a two-week period uh, shadow period before and after and it does affect uh, a lot of people uh, especially the very spiritually connected um, crew. Interesting wording um, as the cards go flying. And so you need to remember that that definitely left you feeling very out of it, maybe blah, uh, lacking motivation um, and just super tired. But then applying uh, yourself it leaves you tired as well, right? Uh, putting effort into self-care, even though at certain points that gives you energy, can drain you, right? Um, working for a ton of uh, almost said Librans uh, Aquarians drawn to the reading uh, it's leaving you tired okay um, over consumption for somebody it's making you tired um, and so I feel as if they're saying it's not a time for you to be say uh, jumping to okay conclusions is what I'm hearing but uh, to the option of uh, over consuming uh, caffeine or something of the sort it's time for you to get your rest and find the balance between that and putting uh, effort and resources towards this and that of importance and maybe even what you choose to want to all the meanwhile but i really feel as if you are needing to release okay that may be a huge part of why spirit saying go for that walk go for that run um do some jumping jacks is what i'm getting sit-ups um i know that sounds random but <laughs> hey it's coming out and um, that's part of the reason why they're saying do uh, a dance, okay? Strut your stuff. Now, if people knew half of what you've been through, they would expect you to be more of, uh, or just in general, a hot mess, okay? I mean, I, I often talk about uh, struggling and how I'm a hot mess. They're giving me um, this um, thing that I keep saying at work at my serving job when a customer struggles to use the credit card machine or the debit card uh, machine um, or they struggle to order or they repeat themselves um, uh, unnecessarily or just uh, by accident I often tell them we're all struggling all right and it very much is a spiritual uh, moment where uh, people need to recognize that it's okay that you're struggling but it, we're all going through it. We're all just trying to figure it out and uh, minimize the struggles in our life. But um, yeah, something about that is coming into play in the next 48. But there is significant alone time for you in the next uh, two day period. Um, and I feel like this is going to feel needed. Okay. Uh, some of which may be a literal loner, right? And that's not a negative thing. But uh, you know, I know I am. Um, and I feel like you're going to be gaining clarity in the midst of some of this uh, hermit mode time. Um, there's also a hanging from the tree of your Aquarian wisdom and experiences that's really coming in handy. I can't help but feel like you are impressing people. I can't help but feel like at certain points, even if you're not choosing to in the moment per se, um, or not fully, you're putting on somewhat of a show for people. It, it's as if you can't help but want to choose the spotlight even when you're alone it definitely gives me the feeling of um, me doing these readings you know and i'm putting myself out there but i am alone right well we're not and we're never actually alone because you know you can imagine how big my team of guides are and the random spirits that come to join me for whatever reasons um i do feel as if there's a loyalty about uh certain aspects of your world let me reward that 
there's a loyalty that you have for say that individual okay a loyalty for yourself a loyalty to your business or your work otherwise to your financial commitments or one in particular because i feel like that's going to be part of the next two days as well um they're saying stay loyal to what feels right for you okay even if that's meant to be a temporary commitment or situation or you know what i'm saying um i also want to say there's an innocence about you i don't know why they want me to mention this i'm being drawn to the way that this individual is sitting um there's an innocence that you uh, exude that you give off it, it's helping something grow and prosper it's helping people trust you um and they're saying like and or love you um let's keep pulling let's wait for aquarius oh that was so freaking loud i'm sorry um the four of wands the ten of pentacles uh sorry the ten of cups and the three of pentacles uh, noise does make you nervous i feel the need to say even if you don't think so um you're going to interesting i got a low battery uh, it feels like that's very much speaking upon uh your energy right in this next two day period and surrounding it uh, you feeling low in energy feeling affected by things um you're as well going to be feeling noticed all right paid attention to uh eyes are churning is what i just heard um heads are churning people are feeling your energy as you stroll on by as you do what you do um even if they're not uh you know necessarily looking at you um energy exists in so many different forms and i do sense that that's part of this two-day period for you but there's this feeling of you gaining attention in the midst of uh, discovery for some in the midst of um wanting things to fall into place more and seeing evidence that they actually are all right um in, in the midst of uh, moving towards a happily ever after of some sort uh those of which who are single and looking for somebody to date i feel like it's not the right time okay this uh, fixing is what I'm hearing, adjusting, removal of importance that needs to take place before, I want to say a couple months down the line, you end up meeting that significant person, all right? Um, but I want to as well say that um, if you've been dating somebody, they're, um, they're struggling with their self-confidence, okay, for somebody, um, but as well, I feel like they're maybe just stressed out due to certain factors of their life, uh, like work or uh, finances, um or somebody else in their life is what i'm getting anyways um the seven of pentacles and the page of cups there is a new fulfilling opportunity coming through in the next few days for your work of some sort for a lot drawn to the reading but this as well could be you watering yourself okay i just showed a plant on top of my head and uh, me pouring uh, uh you know with a watering can um pouring the water onto the plant anyway sorry that's just how my spirituality works at times but yeah it definitely is coming through as you um taking care of yourself okay and that could definitely come into play with just a simple uh, period of time uh where you're resting okay now they're saying uh treat yourself but don't overdo it okay treat yourself but don't overdo it if we have to repeat ourselves time and time again for things to sink in to be utilized and actually believed um applied for you then we will repeat ourselves even if we have to have space in between uh, because it feels like there are maybe some of which you do embody a bit of a stubborn energy um or maybe just you don't believe what's coming through okay it's as if as i'm being shown the ten of uh, pentacles you hear i'm uh, that you're meant to be rich moving forward okay you're meant to have a lot of uh, financial wealth and uh, otherwise but then deep down, even if you're saying I claim it or I, I believe it, I, I want it, I know it's going to happen. If there's that slight disbelief within you, right, that lack of um, knowing completely it's going to come to be, being a manifester, right, you're going to get in your own way. You're going to be uh, pushing it out or delaying, uh, delaying it uh, or preventing it all uh, altogether. And so Spirit's saying, we're helping you we're trying to assist you there's also something about school as this noisy school bus um stops at this uh stoplight um rather stop sign but 
I also want to say that you are going to be gaining a wish fulfillment. Look up the number 99. I feel like that came up in a reading recently. Um, you're going to be gaining a wish fulfillment. It feels like it's a small one in the next two days to support a bigger one moving forward. Um, you're golden, my friend. You're golden, but then there's something you do too much or something you do too little of or you don't stay consistent with this or that. And then what do you expect? Okay, that golden energy uh, and even more tiredness comes to be. And uh, sorry, I was going to say that golden energy and way of being starts to dissipate, right? Or it's minimalized uh, all the meanwhile. And so they're saying you need just need to be honest with yourself, okay? Um, as well, they're saying we're going to push you in the next two days to think about maybe investigate, okay? Uh, look into certain options about uh, something that you need and or want for the future, right? A wish fulfillment to come to be because I do sense that this is going to be invigorating. It's going to be comforting, uh, peaceful even. Somebody is going to meet um, a new friend in the upcoming week or two and this person gets you like right off the bat, okay? Instantly. It may be a past uh, life kind of connection um but also i feel like there's a snake in your midst my friend i could have literally used the other snake ring that i'm wearing but this one's just what they were drawing me to there is somebody around you that you know already this is something that you already have picked up on do not trust them okay stay away stay away from me is now what i'm getting um i want to clean i don't know why that's coming through i want to organize i want to tidy up and uh, do the dishes I want to and maybe do the laundry something of the sort is coming through because it's speaking upon you wanting clear energy okay you're wanting clean energy you're wanting to make things easier for you uh, uh, fitting is now what I'm getting but it also does to an extent speak upon you wanting to um, feel control to make up for where you don't feel in control fully or at all you know what i'm saying um and so that moment where you choose to uh, tidy up clean organize whatever it ends up being for you uh fix is what i'm getting it gives you a little bit of that sense of control um and you're being noticed by spirit very very clearly in the next two days as somebody who is improving changing uh, the way you choose to dress yourself uh accessorize even very much representing how you're developing at this time and have been recently um they're also reminding you for whatever reason who and what you associate yourself with commit to or stick with right bring into your world or uh fall into dive into uh changes you right um that old uh saying of you become who you hang out with right you become who uh you date to an extent if not fully um, and the same goes for where you live, where you work. Um, yeah, who you associate yourself with is a big one. Um, and so that may push you to reconsider who or what you've been associating yourself with um, and what you have been um, utilizing. But as well, I feel there's a true necessity to be putting on chapstick for somebody because uh, you could really uh, have cracked lips. Anyways um you know the messages just come out as they're meant to but the number three is quite significant they just showed um me putting up my three fingers um the number 12 12 as well and 115 115 um so with that moment of uh, different numbers coming out i wouldn't be surprised if angel numbers are a significant uh, choice from spirit um in order to communicate with you okay it was definitely interesting wording per usual the um six of wands when you feel the need to take a bow my friend take a bow they are now they're utilizing me in these visions a lot for this reading um they just showed me getting up after this reading and just for the spirits per se you know that are with me literally physically taking a bow and just you know honoring the fact that i killed it during this reading but um yeah i feel as if people are noticing that you're meant to at least partially if not fully be in the spotlight um we're going to shower you with attention in the next two days meaning the spirits that join you stick with you uh, even if that's not your team of guides i at least uh, feel that's partial uh, partially your guides 
um, and this is because you haven't been gaining enough love and appreciation and attention or you've been going through some difficulties. Um, but again, going back to the Hermit card, there's going to be significant alone time in the next two days. And so that will definitely be helping with that, okay? We need you to remember your worth. We need to uh, remember that we're each individually a special star in the making. I mean, you represent the star card, right? Um, but they're also showing me reading a book, okay? As I'm looking at the cards like this, um, you look at your book, look at your life as a book, all right? We're getting ready to turn a page and it feels very much at the end of this month, uh, the month of September is what I'm getting specifically. Uh, get ready to turn the page, my friend. Maybe towards a whole new chapter, but uh, it could be a sub chapter, right? Um, it feels like spirit as well as saying, just like the saying of um, having a, a blank canvas, if you want to splash a, a whole bucket of white paint onto the canvas and start again, you have that choice. You're in the driver's seat, okay? Um, you're writing your own book, if you will, um, as we assist you and guide you in the midst of which. This is such an interesting reading. I feel as if Spirit's saying, connect back to yourself in the, in the next two days um, and don't let things get the best of you. Take a deep breath when need be and recognize that things are working out in your Aquarian favor. That's what I have for you, okay? So if this was truly helpful, uh, don't forget to book a personal reading with myself, of course. Uh, everything is down below. I'm sending you so much love and light.